In this video, we will talk about Chicago's Deep Tunnel Project, a massive infrastructure project that has been going on for decades and costs billions of dollars. If you've ever flown into Chicago's Midway Airport, you might have seen these huge reservoirs from your plane window. These used to be rock quarries. They are now a part of Chicago's Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, better known as the Deep Tunnel Project. But what exactly does this project do? And how does it work? Let's take a closer look at this ambitious undertaking. Since it was founded, Chicago has struggled with water problems. Built on marshy land barely above Lake Michigan, the city faced constant flooding and had trouble draining sewage from its low-lying areas. Standing dirty water often filled the streets, creating major challenges for the growing city. Standing dirty water posed a public health risk and spread diseases like cholera in the 1800s. To tackle these issues, Chicago launched a series of engineering projects. First, city streets were raised by a few feet, sometimes as much as 8 to 10, above the existing ground level. This allowed for a modern sewer system with enough height to drain properly. You can still see evidence of these raised streets today in neighborhoods like Pilsen, where buildings constructed before the street raising have ground floors below street level. By the late 1800s, the Sanitary District of Chicago was formed to oversee projects like the Chicago Ship and Sanitary Canal, which reversed the flow of the Chicago River. This change directed wastewater away from Lake Michigan, the city's drinking water source, and toward the Mississippi River. In the early 1900s, Treatment plants were also built to clean sewage and wastewater before releasing it back into the city's waterways. However, despite these engineering solutions, Chicago continued to face water problems well into the 20th century. During heavy storms, Chicago's sewer system often couldn't handle the excess water, leading to flooding and sewage overflows. This caused untreated wastewater, including raw sewage and polluted runoff, to flow directly into the city's waterways. By the 1960s, these overflows occurred about 100 times a year. To tackle this problem, the Sanitary District of Chicago, now called the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, developed the Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, commonly known as the Deep Tunnel Project. The Deep Tunnel Project is a backup sewer system that consists of large tunnels connected to huge reservoirs. Its purpose is to capture and redirect sewage and stormwater that overflow from the city's main sewer system. Over four decades, the system has expanded to include 110 miles of tunnels ranging from 8 to 33 feet in diameter, located 150 to 300 feet underground. These tunnels capture overflow wastewater and direct it into reservoirs. There are three main reservoirs in the deep tunnel system the Thornton Reservoir in South Holland, the McCook Reservoir in Bedford Park, and the Majowski Reservoir in Elk Grove Village. These reservoirs are strategically placed on the northwest and south sides of the city and are enormous, with the capacity to hold billions of gallons of water. The reservoirs in the Deep Tunnel Project are designed to temporarily hold untreated water until nearby wastewater treatment plants can process it. Building such large reservoirs in a busy city like Chicago is incredibly challenging, which is why the Thornton and McCook reservoirs were created by repurposing old rock quarries. The project has been completed in stages, and currently the system can hold up to 11 billion gallons of wastewater. Once fully completed, including the expansion of the McCook reservoir, the system will have a capacity of 17.5 billion gallons. The Deep Tunnel Project has successfully reduced flooding and protected the environment by lowering the amount of untreated wastewater that enters Chicago's waterways. It has also inspired similar projects around the world, such as London's Thames Tideway Tunnel and Singapore's Stamford Detention Tank. However, in recent years, there has been a shift in stormwater management strategies, favoring natural solutions like green stormwater infrastructure Cities like Chicago are filled with paved surfaces that don't absorb water, which increases the strain on sewers. Green infrastructure uses natural elements like native plants and bioswales to absorb and filter stormwater on-site, 
reducing the burden on traditional sewer systems. Chicago has made progress in adopting these green practices, but the deep tunnel system still plays a crucial role in keeping the city's water clean and safe. This hidden yet vital system reflects the bold engineering spirit of Chicago and remains essential to its infrastructure. What do you think about Chicago's deep tunnel project? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.